Hello and welcome everybody. I'm Rose Smith from AbsoluteSoulSecrets.com. Thanks for joining me. I've got this week's Pick a Card Weekly Tarot Reading. Pick a number now between 1 and 5. I'll do a psychic tarot interpretation for you. Okay, let's go to the board now. Okay, and we'll get this show on the road. Okay, so we're doing card number 1, card number 1, and I'm closing my eyes now. That's Prince Harry in the background, whinging. Oh my God, he whinges. Uh, he's already had his breakfast, but he wants breakfast number two. Okay, we're doing number one, number one. Okay, uh, pick, a, uh, pick a number now between one and five, if I didn't say that. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, okay, so number one, what do I see? I've got the sun here and it's really interesting because the rays are coming out at me with great strength and almost ferocity, uh, but they're coming out in the shape like a cross. Uh, so a cross can mean a sacrifice. Uh, and so it's like enlightenment, but there's some sacrifice to do that. Now that might be in learning or spending time, uh, looking at a situation, really going into a situation uh, to see what you can see might be money uh, it doesn't really indicate what the type of sacrifice is so let's get more clarity with that in the cards okay it could be to do with money the king of pentacles this is somebody who is um, very uh, astute with money they really know what's going on uh, about money even though there's a lot of practicality in this card and mental ability as in you know logic uh, there's also a lot of intuition uh, it's also saying see there's a harvest of all these grapes around the top of the card it's also saying take a bit of time out and enjoy the harvest of your hard work okay the king of pentacles has worked hard and, and deserves to have a bit of a break uh, this person vibrates at a very high vibration so you know you may meet somebody like this and their energy sort of rubs off on you or they give you some advice that's really salient and wise uh, and so with that that helps you you know organize your finances or maybe it motivates you to make more money in a, a sort of sustainable way or a spiritual way perhaps okay it's a pretty good vibe and uh, if you don't actually meet someone like this you may find this energy within yourself go back for your family tree uh, there'll be someone there that um, knows how to deal with money effectively okay if you go back far enough I've got a king back there in my ancestry back to in the 1500s uh, red head red, red beard green eyes uh, and he's obviously he's a king so he's doing all right but um more than that what he uh helps me with if somebody's up to no good uh he'll give me the insight and even though i'm a liberal i don't like to confront people it's not my natural thing uh he's taught me how to do that and and so things will come out of my mouth that any liberal would not normally say <laughs> and i know it's him i can see him okay number two number two closing my eyes what do i see for you okay i'm seeing an orchestra i've been listening to a lot of um big bands lately you know from the 1960s really good music ray conniff is old-fashioned guy you know but oh yeah the music's fabulous uh and so this is saying you are the composer of your life uh, you are the conductor of your life and you are the musician of your life so it's up to you to put it all together and steer your life the way that you want now of course life throws us all curve balls from time to time and we can't help that in the sense of you know stop something happening but um on the other hand we can help how we respond to that so let's see what card comes out for you for number two it's the nine of pentacles uh this came up today in facebook as well and uh, this is all about um, maybe, you know, creativity, um, coming to a situation where you're content with your finance, finances, you know, and how things appear in the outward world. You think you're doing okay and you are. 
Uh, but creativity is important here. You see here she has a sort of a parrot that she's created. Uh, and you can create anything you want, it's basically saying. As a nine, it is coming to the end of a cycle and a new cycle of creativity about to uh, is about to begin. And uh, so decide what you want to do because there's a whole lot of new energy coming through uh, this month um, with the solar eclipse in Aries and all sorts of things happening. Uh, so you can have more financial success if that's what you want. Number three, number three, closing my eyes. Now, what do I see for you? Number three, the chains are falling from my wrist, particularly my right wrist. Okay, so in some way, the things that I physically do and achieve and get done have been restricted in some way. Maybe you haven't had access to enough energy. Maybe you haven't had access to enough money. Or maybe it's even time. But the restrictions are lifting, okay? Chains are all about restrictions. Arms are about doing things. Right arm is about doing it in a masculine way. So that's getting on and achieving stuff. It's not, it's not like just sitting there and it happens. If it was a left wrist, I'd be thinking, well, that thing just happened by itself. I didn't have to put much energy into it. Just happened. But no, these are the things that you have to put energy into. And maybe there's a fair bit of um, logic or planning that goes in with them as well. Card number three. Card number three. What do I see? My feet are getting really hot from the ankles down. If you pick card number three, when you have the hot flushes, I know <laughs> women don't regard it as a good thing. On a spiritual thing, I, I do think it's a good thing on a spiritual basis because it's like energy is being released in some way. Something's been, again, it's a bit like number two, something's been restricted. But when you're having those hot flushes, particularly feet, could be itchy feet, you want to travel. Well, we're in Mercury retrograde, so it's not the best time to travel right now. But maybe you're thinking about it or planning it, okay? So itchy feet could be something to do with moving forward, could be traveling, uh, could even be walking and exercise. The card that comes out for you, if you pick card number three, I want that one actually underneath is the three of wands okay so there's a lot of heat here and this is heat to do with a group of people okay it's not just you it's about about when you work with other people you can create fire fire is very creative okay wands is very creative inspirational motivational now three of wands you don't necessarily all get on a hundred percent together you don't agree but sometimes um, those disagreements can actually help you get more done. Okay, so it's quite a spiritual card. And, and in this group, there's quite a good degree of spiritual strength. Uh, and whatever the situation is, you can meet it full on. And success can come out of this configuration, even if it's not all that comfortable. But a bit of heat in winter, we're, you know, in Australia, we're going into winter. A bit of heat is a really good thing <laughs> for us at the moment. All right, not very good in the summer, though, I must say. Number four, number four. You could, so what, just to sum that up, because I can't move on to the next thing because they nag me. Um, just to sum up for number three is this heat is about creativity being physically manifested with other people even if it takes a bit of time okay so be patient it's not going to happen overnight but it is going to happen number four number four what do i see for you okay i just have to get away from those flames which are a bit hot for me uh number four no okay this is better it's green it's all green uh it's like being outside in a beautiful green garden but there's a lot of trees it's not just about flowers there's a few flowers there sure that's like happiness uh, and contentment but the focus is on the green grass and also the green trees the green of course is all about growth and development and you are growing as a person if you pick card number four trees can be your family tree or can be yourself so it's like there's a background of growth and development around you the card that oh, i'm going to go for that one underneath the card that comes out is the three of pentacles uh, which is great for your money uh, three of pentacles suggests that there's some sort of spiritual reward coming to you 
and also physical reward if you put the work in okay so some work has to be done uh, it, it, it doesn't mean, you know, it might be a lot of work. The wages or the money that comes might not be great. But there's some sort of spiritual reward in achieving uh, things. This is also like crafts or um, sewing at home. You know, you get the sense of when you, you know, sew up something, you get the sense of achievement that you've done it okay. You could probably go out and buy something cheap. <coughs> Excuse me. But it gives you the sense of achievement to actually fix something, okay? But yeah, money can also come from that as well. That's uh, four, number four. <coughs> Don't know what's just happened to my throat. Okay, uh, number five. Let me know if you got a cough. Because um, I just didn't until just now. That's just too weird. Number five, what do I see? Okay, I get the sense of, these are like seagulls, but they're all white. You know, normally seagulls are grey, they might have a bit of white underneath, but they've got grey wings. This is this is like seagulls, but they're all white. Uh, so looking at the big picture view and the association with the water, the ocean. Uh, so being in touch with your subconscious, but understanding that you don't have to get caught up in details, uh, particularly like if you're a Virgo, for example, you know, it's very easy to get caught into the details. It's basically saying, look at the big picture view because there's bigger things at play here than what you realize. The card that comes out is the lover's card. Uh, it's a major arcana. It's a very important card. It can be a bit push me, pull you. So yes, it, it can be to do with relationships, but not uh, necessarily. Uh, it can be to do with anything that you're coming to terms with. And sometimes it's working and sometimes it's not. It's a bit on and off, okay? Um, it's a bit non-committal. They're together, they're apart. They're together, they're apart, that type of thing. Uh, and so it does mean the end of isolation, of total isolation, but it doesn't mean necessarily co uh, complete commitment either. Uh, but there's normally some sort of really strong spiritual connection here, as indicated by the angels here, the angels looking out. Uh, and if it is a relationship, there's healing that is going on. So it takes time. There's some passion here, the pomegranate you know, the, the symbol of Adam and Eve almost, the pomegranate here in the trees. Uh, but this is saying unity is coming. It's not quite here yet, but it's on its way. Okay, major arcana. The effects of it can last for very many months and can even change your life. Now, there's only one major arcana there today, which is number five. For many people, this week will be a normal sort of week. Uh, there's three pentacles, so there seems to be quite a focus on finances this week for many people. Creativity is important as well, and coming to terms with conditions around you as well. Okay, so that's it. I hope this is useful for you. Uh, leave a like and a comment. That would be fabulous. Most importantly, have a fabulous week and subscribe and be alive. I'll see you all again uh, soon. Thanks and bye for now. Thanks so much for watching. Please visit my website, absolutesoulsecrets.com, for all things spiritual. Have a lovely day.